Welcome, welcome, welcome. Gonna get this show started here any moment, y'all. Thirty-three, huh? <laughs> welcome, 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 everybody to Pour It On with Wancho. You can find us every Saturday at four p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Pour It On is a show where artist experience doesn't matter. All you need is your will to learn, paint, create, and have fun. I'll pour it on, you will follow along with me with one point technique that I've selected for today's show. Iconic painter Bob Ross said, we don't make mistakes, just happy little accidents. So let's pour it on and see what we can create. I'm your host, Wancho. And today we're gonna tap into a new pouring technique. Well, it's not really so much new, but we've done it um, previously on another show and I'm gonna incorporate something different with it this time. Um, we are actually gonna do two pouring techniques today. Uh, we are going to do a Dutch uh, uh, Dutch pour, and we're going to do a multi-channel pour. So uh, all you guys is tapping in. We're just getting it started. Um, as you can see, I got a black canvas here. It doesn't matter if you're using white or black. Um, I guess it's just all preference and what, what it is that you got going on. If you want that black to actually be uh, help the image enhance itself and pop a little bit more, you might want to use black. Um, but we're going to split the canvas with black and white, kind of like a yin and yang thing today. Um, so I got our base coats here. We got white and we have black. That's going to be our base coats. And I've already pre-mixed our base coat because I wanted to make sure it was good. Yes, I'm using a fork today because I didn't get no popsicle sticks, but we're going to use what we got, right? Okay. Um, and then for the colors we have, um, I'm actually using some colors that uh, I did some pours with a client of mine. A lot of you guys know what I do outside of the app um, and all that, working with behavior health and whatnot. Uh, so one of my clients, um, we did a couple of pours together. And so now the leftover paint that I use with them, um, now that they've gone on to back to their family, I'm going to incorporate into today's show. Yeah, as a dedication to them. So that's what we got going on today. I have violet purple. Um, I have a turquoise, um, which I have another bottle with more of that in there. And then I have two different color blues. I have a metallic gold. So that's, that's a metallic gold. And then we have our two different color blues. Um, I also have a coral pink. Okay. And there was some red in here, but I don't think that there was much in there. So we'll use what we can out of the red and the, the true uh, red and the vivid orange. We'll use what we can out of those two. Um, but other than that, let's get this, this show on the road. Let's get this uh, paint mixed up so we can pour it on the canvas. So I'm just gonna get a cup for each of my colors that I'm gonna be mixing up today. So let's see here we got like this violet purple. Um, I believe I already mixed this with my client. So I'm gonna go ahead and make sure it's stirred up thoroughly before we pour it on canvas. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pour this into the cup. I got some more over here. I'm just gonna use all of the remaining of what we had. And we're gonna do today's piece. All right, so I got I got the violet purple in the first cup. Go ahead, put those to the side. Um, I think this is like a bright blue. Got bright blue, y'all. So I'm gonna pour that in the next cup. All right, all right. Got that one going. Have another bottle of it. So we had two kits, um, one for each person because we did our own canvas. Um, and so that's why I'm pouring from two bottles into one cup. 
They're the same color. And these were previously mixed, you guys. You can buy pre-mixed pour paint or you can make it your own. Uh, when you make it your own, you want to uh, get a pouring medium. I prefer uh, Floetrol. I have used other pouring mediums in the past and they work okay, but the Floetrol seems to develop the cells a little bit better. Um, so that's why I go with that avenue. If you guys decide to get on the show or take on some paint pours on your own, just let you guys know what kind of materials you'll need. All right, so we got three colors so far. Got three colors so far. About to add this gold paint to the cup. Got some metallic gold. And it, when you look at it, it doesn't really look metallic looking at the paint itself. I don't know why that is, but once you once it dries on the canvas, it, you'll see. You'll see that it's gold. It's really like a, a beige or a tan color until um, until it's actually on the canvas and it starts to dry up. So we got, got all the colors here. Let me see. Got this orange. I think we already got that. Got the gold. All right. If you guys are just tuning in, this is Poured on the One Show. You can find us every Saturday at 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Uh, right now, I've just put the colors that we're going to use for today's show into the cup. I'm going to now add uh, some lubricant um, oil. It's acrylic pouring lubricant oil. Most craft stores have it. I order mine off of Amazon because I get the bigger bottle. I'm just going to add like three drops into each cup. Um, when we did ours with my client, we didn't have the lubricant oil. And that's okay. You can you can do it with or without. It's all a preference. It's like I said, like your pore medium is a preference too. It depends on what type of cells you want to see. Uh, let's see here. Let me go ahead and mix some of this stuff up so that we can we can get this on the canvas, y'all. Just trying to mix up this lubricant oil real quick so that it's fluid. I'm gonna have to add a little bit of, probably a little bit of water to some of these. I got, like I said, I got some straws. I got all types of stuff mixing up today. We gotta get some popsicle sticks. Gotta get some popsicle sticks. I thought I had more, but I guess I ran out. But, So you wanted a nice warm honey, warm syrup consistency. It should be literally dripping off of whatever your stirring object is. All right. I'm gonna add this coral pink to a cup. And Depending on the the brand, the paint might be a little bit more fluid than others. No two brands are the same, so you might have to mix it up a little bit more. Make sure that 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 paint's fluid enough so that once you're putting it on the canvas, um, it'll move fluidly. It won't it won't clump up. All right. So we got our colors here today. Now I'm gonna put these some of these to the side so that we can focus on putting our base color down. Let's see here. And put one more up here. There we go. Make sure you have plenty of space. Make sure you have a drop cloth because you don't want to ruin, you don't want to ruin anything. So I'm gonna just start in one corner and kind of come across the canvas. And then fill up the one side. All right. 
And this is just the, our base coat, y'all. This is just the base coat, okay? We got our black, and I'm just gonna run our black along our white paint there. And then fill that in. All right. I'm gonna take my painter's knife, y'all, just so I can spread this paint out. Take that. You wanna cover the canvas, so making sure the white is covering all the black area and vice versa and as you can see the the paint is already starting to bleed with each other a little bit and when we come back with our uh blow dryer it's gonna mix a little bit more which is which is what we want anyway so that's fine let's keep on You guys are just tapping in. This is Port on a Wancho. You can find us every Saturday at 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We're now putting our base coat on the canvas. We got we got white and black as our base coat, kind of like a yin and, yin and yang. White, there we go. And your paint knife just basically uh, going over the surface just to drag the paint to the edges. Just pulling that paint to the edges, y'all. All right, our white is good. Why is good? Pour a little bit more of that on the canvas for the areas down here that didn't get enough. Make sure that it's drying the color that we, we put here. Because if you don't put enough on it and it starts drying, you'll start seeing the canvas underneath. And I don't want that. So just going to add a little bit and go there. All right, now we're gonna take take their knife one more time. I'm gonna clean it off real quick before we uh, get to messing with the colors. So I'm just gonna, again, take our paint knife and move that black paint outward. So we're covering the whole canvas. Got almost got the black. Almost got the black. And because it's full, that's why I'm able to just kind of like drag it across like that. So you want to make sure your paint is definitely fluid enough so that you can move it around the canvas the way it needs to. All right, so we got our we got our black and we have our white, y'all. So at this point, <clears throat> we get into the Dutch pour aspect of it. Dutch pour is where it's manipulation of the air with the paint, and you can do some really cool effects with that as well. Move this out the way. Move these gloves out the way. Don't need these cups anymore. So I'm just gonna
job. So we got that. We have that on there. Let me make sure this is uh, out the way. So as you can see, the cells are already starting to develop. So now I have our channels that we're going to add onto the piece. And before we get into that, you guys, if you're just tuning in, this is Portal on Wancho. You can find us every Saturday at 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We are working on a multi pour uh, piece today. We got a Dutch pour, that, which we've already laid out with our base colors. We have white and black as our base colors. Um, we just use the blow dryer to manipulate the paint. We got some of the white going into the black and the black going into the white. Now I'm going to add our channels. I'm gonna put one there. I'm gonna put one there. All right, so now that we got our channels, now we got our channels, need a little bit more white paint. So I'm gonna add this from our premix. Okay, just gonna add that from the premix. And we have enough black still. So at this time, actually, let me just move it up just a little bit more there. There we go. All right, so I'm for our left side with the white, the center of it, I'm gonna go black. Go black. We'll go ahead and add that in the center. And make sure I've covered the entirety of the area, which I do believe I did. All right. And then on this one, we're going to go white. So go ahead and pour that in there. And I think we got that one as well. All right. So now here comes the fun part, y'all. We're about to start layering these colors in these channels. And we're going to see what it what it does. All right. We're going to see what it does. I got, like I said, we got two different blues. We got a turquoise. And... Where is my other blue? I didn't pour my other blue. Well, I didn't pour the other blue, so here we go. Let's pour the other blue in here. So we need that. We need that. All right. There's one. And two. Pour a little bit more in there. All right, y'all, here we go. Those cells are already starting to develop on the white and black. Let's see. I think I'm going to start with uh, turquoise first. So I'm going to put that in each channel. And remember, there are no mistakes. So if a little bit goes off of your channel cup, like it's not a big deal. You might actually even like it afterwards. But I do try to try to keep it as steady as possible as I'm filling up these channels to get a nice clean look if I can. But sometimes it, you know, things don't always work the way we want to when we're doing this, but. Let's see here we got the last channel and i'm just gonna take a look and make sure these are all yeah they're covering the bottom 
Let's go. So we're going to do the same thing with this other channel cup. We're going to start with that turquoise. We'll start with that turquoise and get all those petals. Make sure all the petals are filled with that color. Got a little bit in the that center part there. It's okay. All right. Got a little bit in the center part there, but that's okay. That is okay. All right, so I'm gonna sit that one to the side. I'm gonna come with the violet purple next. Mix it up one good time real quick before we start pouring it. All right. We got purple. And if you guys are just tuning in, this is Poured on Wancho. You can find us every Saturday at 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We are working on a multi-pour piece today. The first, the first pour technique that we did was the Dutch pour, which is the manipulation of air or through air. You can use a straw, you can use a blow dryer, you can use um, your mouth if you have to. And for some reason, I know Jariah is saying something crazy in the comments, but that's okay. We still love them though. I ain't even got to look at the, the the screen, but that's all right. <laughs> I ain't even got to look at the screen. I already know what time it is. I already know what time it is. All right. Um, we about to try gold next. We about to try gold next. Um, like I said, it's like a butterscotch color to it. But once it dries, it definitely um, changes. So... We good. We good. And we're just you're just gonna repeat the process with each color, you guys. Go each channel, pour your color in it, move on to the next channel and repeat. And repeat. All right. And of course, y'all want to stay to the end of the show because y'all want to see what this looks like. I'm I'm curious as to what what's going to happen with this. Um, Sometimes I, you know, I know a lot of people ask like how I come up with my ideas. A lot of times it might even be last minute. This one is, uh, like I said, I it was kind of last minute. I was going to do another pour, um, but then when I brought the paint home and everything from work, I was like, you know what? I'm gonna do one. This one's for you, Ben. This one's for you. You did it. You made it. You know what I'm saying? You did the work. You get to go home. This one's for him. Uh, hopefully this one will come out really nice. Oops, missed a little bit there. That's okay. That is okay. Okay, it's got the gold in there. 
All right, I dropped another spot in there. I wasn't trying to do that, but that's all right. Now we got the gold. We're going to come back with this uh, bright blue. Start up with this, this one at the top. Got that one. And there we go. <clears throat> so we got that that channel finished. And as you see, some of the paint's just dripping off the cup. So um, if you want to probably not have that, you want to get the squeeze bottles. Um, that's something I'm definitely looking into investing into just because you get a more control of the paint and how it's poured onto the canvas. They have the little nozzles on them, things like that. So, and again, some reason I know Jariah is probably saying something, but that's okay. We still here. <laughs> oh man all right so we got we got our bright blue we're gonna come back with this uh coral pink and i don't know what this is gonna look like y'all like i really don't we're just we're adding the colors and then we're gonna see what it does when uh when we did this at, at my job we just use one solid base coat and I think we use five colors, but total with the white and black and the other colors that we had. But as you can see, I had what, six, seven colors, six, seven colors and that's all right. You can use as many or as little colors as you want. Just be mindful that if you're using cups, you want to make sure you have enough cups to, for each color. Otherwise, I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. You don't have enough cups for each color of paint. You might be short with that one. You might not be able to use that one. All right, I'm gonna come back through one more time with this teal. Just one more time with the teal because I feel like some of these channels didn't get filled up that much and I want them to relatively be even, so. If you guys are just tuning in, this is Pour It On with Wancho. You can find us every Saturday at 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We are finishing up pouring in the paint into our channels for the second part of our pouring technique today. We're just adding this turquoise here, and then we're gonna burp the channels so that the paint flows. All right. So the paint flows. Okay, so this is probably one of my favorite parts about it. I don't know how this is going, what's going to happen. Sometimes it makes the actual shape. Sometimes it doesn't come out of the shape. So I'm going to do one at a time. I'm going to burp this one. 
Okay, let's see what we got. All right, and let that one just kind of go well. All right, let's see how what happens now. I'm liking what it's doing so far. Liking what it's doing so far. I am gonna take some of this this gold and do a couple of drops here. Let's see what they there we go there we go Let's see what we got there so i'm just letting the paint kind of like do its thing a little bit before i get to messing with it i don't really want to disturb it too much because we we kind of got what i was hoping for which was the multicolors and things like that and kind of having a, a, a controlled area so we got that going on and then I like how the colors are, are reflecting off each other with the black versus the white. So just gonna let these cells develop at this time and see what it does. Okay. And while these are, are developing, um, if you guys have any questions, feel free to go ahead and, and, and ask questions. I'm gonna let this kind of develop for a second and see what we got. I'll let it develop for a second, see what we got. Okay. So the floor, the floor now is you guys so to ask a few questions if you so choose. And we're not talking about how much wood could a wood chuck if a wood chuck could chuck wood. Um, but if they could chuck wood, uh <laughs> Christy had a question earlier. What was Chris, Chrissy's uh, question? Chrissy, you still here? Let's see here. Let's see if I can scroll up and see her question. Does anybody does anybody uh, catch Chris, Chrissy's question? The white side makes you think of of the crystal flower, the one that be popping up on the app that, that everybody be trying to throw as a gift. That one. I can see that. I can see that. I definitely could see that. She was saying something about pancakes, I think. What medium you use. Okay, so I the paint is acrylic paint. Um I have this is what I use to mix with it, flow troll. And I'm not sure if you guys have that in the uk or not but uh i believe you can order it off of, uh amazon um if, if you don't have a store near you you can't order off of amazon um i need to start buying by the a larger bulk oh there's the crystal flower um but i i generally buy a couple of bottles at a time and then i just use them until they're gone and then i get more basically so was there any more questions in, in here before, while we're letting this uh, kind of do its thing? Because we're going to tap into the next part of the show. Okay. What's the purpose of the medium? So um, as you can see, all of these, these are called sales. So the, the medium helps uh, generate the sales um, and depending on how you put the paint together like they'll the paints will highlight each other and things things like that to create um a, a more vivid image for the for the color uh as you can see like in here how the gold is outlined in the blue um let's see what else we got over here we got the purple with the gold and turquoise and things like that in this in this area and then 
even this over here, the black and the white, um, those are the cells that you see created here um, along that black and white uh, outline. But you guys just now tuning in, this is Poured On One Wancho. You can find us every Saturday at 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We have just placed our uh, paint on the canvas. We have our black side, we have our white side. Those are our base colors for today's show. Um, we use two channel uh, open cup channels. They're lotuses, flowers, I'm not sure what you want to call them. But in the center of those, we did uh, black on the on the white side, white on the on the black side, and then we used the variety of colors that we had today: our turquoise, our metallic gold, um, our bright blue, our thello blue, our coral pink, and our um, also our uh, violet purple. So I, as as you can see, as it's drying, the cells are are creating their own little thing right now they're developing but this is a part of the show that i like to call show and tell um and that's where we ask the q a questions and things like that the question is can you tell us why you chose your color selection and what these colors represent to you now usually i i might have a guest on here so I'm, i'll be asking the person that's in the guest but since we don't have a guest today and it's just me i'm just going to answer the questions but as I stated before, I chose the colors because um, these are the colors that I use with a client at my job. Uh, he's not now gone on to greener pastures. And have you used silicone cell formation? I have, I use silicone oil, but I have uh, not done specifically silicone show, uh, cell formation, but this is the acrylic pouring oil that I use that I added to my paints. Um, so we had, like I said, those were the colors that we had used on a project. Um, I didn't get a chance to incorporate the orange and the, and the red that we had. I just felt like it wasn't enough paint in either one of those to even try to toy with it. So I just left it alone, um, as you can see. And I just stuck to the paints that we, you know, had enough of that way that we can generate this image that you see in, in front of you. Uh, if you could title your painting, what would you call it? Um, because it's dedicated to, to him, I'm just gonna call it next chapter. This, this young man has, grown so much in a little bit of time that i've met him so we're going to call it a new chapter uh you know the black represent the, the darker times the white represent you know the new beginnings and then of course you know all the colors that we see here that we've added in today um now that i've completed the painting what was my favorite part about the paint my favorite part is actually these two spots on the respective side colors that we have the how they pop differently in the black and the uh, and the white i love the cell formations that have cr been created um through the uh dutch pour as well um from you know using the black and the white on on either side um i love the piece all 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 together i i generally don't not like a piece i would say um some of them I might say need some work at times, but um, I really like this piece. I'm looking forward to seeing what it looks like once the cells fully develop and once it dries. Um, if I have my uh, have butane for my torch, I will use that right now, which will help generate more cells. Um, so if you're ever worried about your your painting not generating the cells that you want, you can add some uh, a torch to that as well. Some people use. Uh, rubbing alcohol, preferably 90%. Um, it just depends on what you're looking for, how you want your piece to look, the texture that you're looking for and all that. Um, some of you guys know on some of my shows, I might start a piece and then I'll come back on another episode and I'll add uh, another aspect to it to give it um, more of a 3D feel. Uh, mixed media art is basically what it is, mixed media art. I might do a pour and then I might come back and um, add flowers or uh, add lights or 
you know, whatever, whatever I'm feeling with that specific piece. Um, some of you guys seen the Bulls, Chicago Bulls painting that's hanging up in the room. I know a lot of you guys love that one. Um, I hope you guys definitely uh, in, enjoy this show um, in its entirety, um, not just today, but um, past episodes as well. Um, I'm doing this, doing this to share something with you guys that you can do in your the comfort of your own home. You can do it with your friends. You can do it with your kids. Um, you can have like a get together uh, with friends, uh, ladies. I don't know if you got you know wine and sip or something like that to teach them. Um, but um, this is definitely something that you can enjoy and it's relaxing. It's, uh, it's definitely relaxing. Um, but yeah. If you guys are just tuning in, this is Poured On One Show. You can find us every Saturday at 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, I'm going to let you guys get a close-up uh, view of the actual piece so that you can see what it looks like. Um, I try. I tend to do that every episode so that people get a gist of what it looks like up close because I know the camera angles don't always do it justice. Um, I also like to bring the pieces back um, on the following episode to show you guys what it looks like once it's dry. So make sure you come back next week so that you can see what the piece looks like. Make sure you come back next week. Um, but at this time, I'm going to go ahead and uh, take this off of our stand. And we're going to go ahead and exit the box there. And flip the camera. So. As I said, you can see how those those colors highlight each other in the cells. The gold and all that highlights each other the, with the turquoise and the purples and things like that. That's the little accents that I'll be talking about. You know, they happen from time to time, um, which is okay. And I did drop a little gold um paint and similar and here's that white uh area that I was talking about how those cells are are forming over here as well as down the middle you see how they formed into the black and uh, the black formed into the white all right like a butterfly wing I actually did a butterfly on here uh, last season. Uh, for those of that you guys that got a chance to see it, um, I did do a butterfly on here. It was actually a really dope piece. Um, I have I have it with my stack of paintings that we will be auctioning off uh, here in the near future, y'all. So make sure y'all be uh, tuning in for that. Make sure you tune in for that because that will be happening right here on the app. Um, relatively soon. But at this time, after since I've shown the piece and everything like that, I'm gonna go ahead and open the floor uh, for the last bit of the show for those of y'all that um, still had questions, um, answers, anybody that wants to be on the show, make sure you hit the, the link in the bio, make sure you subscribe to the YouTube, hit me with a follow on Instagram. Um, all you have to do is send me a message, let me know uh, when you're available. Um, I'll get your materials list, um, and and um, after I get you the materials list, then we can we can get this show on the world. We can pour it on. You know what I mean? So it, I'm always open to guests. If I don't have a guest, I don't mind either because I'll still come. We still gonna proceed with the show with or without the guest. But it's always nice to have that extra person to talk to, um, as well as show some my new technique. So. Uh, you guys don't feel intimidated by what you see today. Don't don't be intimidated by what you see. Um, look at this. As it's it's very easy. It's, all you have to do is follow along. Uh, it's relatively inexpensive. Um, I think I think I've sent out uh, to people in the past a link to to Amazon, and about twenty five dollars you'll get the whole pouring kit set. Um, the only thing you have to do is go get your canvases, but you can get those at like Michael's or uh, Hobby Lobby or anything like that. Um, Michael's usually has a sale on Sundays. It's a, it's a, um, I want to say Sunday. It's either Sundays or Monday. They got a fifty percent off coupon on one item. 
So that one item can be a pack of three. So you can be on three episodes. You know what I'm saying? You can be on three episodes of Pouring It On um, and, you know, vibe with us here in the, you know, those in the audience, you can be on the screen with us and um, show us your, show us your skills and all that good stuff. Any more questions? Any more questions? The floor is open, y'all. You guys can ask whatever you need to know about the show. And there, there's most definitely going to be other things that we're going to be doing here in the near, near future on the show as well. Um, <clears throat> a couple of themed episodes that are uh, going to be specifically themed to some stuff. So I, I hope you guys uh, do make sure you tap in for that. Um, like I said, everything will be on Instagram. I post, I try to post. I'm not that great at posting and promoting, but I've been trying to do better. So uh, just just bear with me, y'all. You, you can't paint hair dry. Wow, now we, we paint the hair. Please don't paint hair. Um, I had an accident on the very first episode. And let me tell you, if you got locks, it's hard to come out. I mean, it's months later and I'm still picking stuff because it got inside the lock, you know what I'm saying? And it started, it's slowly starting to surface. So I'm, every chance I get, yeah. we ain't gonna talk about it no more. We ain't gonna talk about it no more. We ain't gonna talk about it no more. But it happened. It did happen. It did happen. Yo. Thank you for tapping in, Swift fans. Everybody, oh, everybody that's tapping in today, I appreciate y'all. I don't remember the last time we got 300 views before the show even ended. So the shout out to y'all for pulling up in a major way. Um, definitely couldn't do this without you guys being in here in the audience. I mean, I could do it, but then it would be a whole boring uh, live because I'd just be talking to myself for no reason and all that good stuff. And, I don't want to talk to myself. I want, I'm trying to talk to y'all, okay? I'm trying to talk to y'all. Man, these cells is developing, y'all. These cells is developing over here. And the, the, the pain is really starting to expand. So I must say I am pleased. Uh, do you answer? Uh, sometimes. But don't tell nobody, okay? Don't tell nobody. Don't tell nobody. Nobody. No, I'm playing. You don't tell me. Your answer. You answer. Hey. You gotta do what you gotta do, man. If you guys new, make sure y'all hit that fave star at the top. We also working on the 5k faves. You know what I'm saying? We're working on the 5k faves. So I would greatly appreciate it if you do hit that star at the top of the screen. Um, but without further ado, it was been a pleasure, you guys. Make sure y'all tune in next Saturday, 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time with your boy, Wancho, for Pour It On. Uh, you can also tap in tonight. Um, make sure y'all tap in tonight for Red Room Talk. Uh, there's going to be an amazing episode there tonight. All right. Uh, make sure you also tap in tomorrow, Sunday at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for Soul Food. Um, uh, we back again on Tuesday with me and Jen and Juice. Uh, outside of Soul Food, we got Game Night Tuesday. That's at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We do emoji charades. We do riddles. And we do trivia, of course. Okay. So make sure y'all tap in and add there. The more people involved, the better the better prizes we can give out. The more people involved, the better prizes we can give out. So make sure y'all tap into that. It's a fun time. Um, the comments go crazy. If you ain't got nothing to do on Tuesday, you should be there. Uh, apparently, he's the reigning champ. He got two. He got two questions right, but that's okay. Um, uh, <laughs> he got two right, but that's okay. You know what I mean? He got two right. Uh, again, and then on Wednesday, make sure y'all tap in uh, for Sports Block. I think this week we're going to my boy Deuces Live, so make sure y'all fave him. Uh, you know, we're talking about all types of sports, y'all. Um, it's me, G Way, uh, Moby, and Deuce on that. So if y'all trying to get your sports fix, ladies, you too, if you know sports, don't hide back. Make sure you hop in them comments, you know what I'm saying? Get active. 
I want to leave y'all out too. I know, I know some of y'all be into the sports and stuff and have your teams and all that good stuff. 